issue with power lifters that we commonly see. The most common mistake with power lifters we see is that they smell like shit. So our first job was to get detergent, get soap, and get berries. Because our antioxidants, bitch. I'm a anxious eater, I'm an ADD eater. So berries are something genius to have around that can fit and help my oral issues. You know what I'm saying, bro. With low calories. Food's hot food. Especially in downtown LA, it's one of my favorites. So we got a boxed up lunch. I got some shredded chicken, some potatoes. My secret fat boy theory is I put my potatoes and then I put the vegetables. So I'm gonna have to eat through my broccoli before I get to my uh, french fries. The rest of it's for the week. He got delicious cookies. Why'd you get delicious cookies? Is that the secret to a big deadlift? It tastes good. <laughs> when I travel, uh, I don't really track, even though I'm still on a diet right now. Uh, I just try to eat as low fat as I can and then keep my eye on my carbs. Uh, I tracked my food for two years straight. Uh, once you do that, you got an idea what the heck's going on. So that's why I got chicken, a little bit of potatoes, just a little bit. Uh, and then we got a little bit of extra sushi in there, which is just rice, fish, no sauce, no avo. Oh, but avocado's got healthy fats, Mike. I don't give a fuck. Gains. They didn't have any veggies. So I got broccoli salad, some kind of chicken. I don't know what. On air food. You guys don't even want to see that. <laughs> We're gonna avoid that one. The sushi. We've got the healthy shit, as I mentioned. No fucking anything. Just fucking read it, bro. Sponge. Clean dieting. Heat clean, bitch. Huh? Ain't like that, huh? Yeah? I'm not my peach, bro. Peach yogurt. Peach yogurt. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's so good to be back. A little voiceover of our training session here at Barber Brigade. We got celebrities all over the place. Mr. Bryce Lewis, one of the strongest dudes on the planet. You saw right there, Mr. John Hack, also one of the strongest dudes on the planet, all hanging out. While they're all smashing freaking weights, I'm slowly starting the rebuild. So you guys can come along the journey. I've taken about six to eight weeks off squats and deadlifts, and now... Time to get back after it. So uh, 225 for some sets of five, uh, two to three times a week. Going with a slightly higher bar position, just really trying to figure things out. Overall, um, feels okay. Uh, my back feels good. I uh, can't say that squats feel as comfortable or as natural as they normally did. Wink, wink, natural as they did. Just kidding. Um, and then I moved on to some bench, and I basically just superset it. Uh, Mr. Matt Vincent in the house, Mr. Bart Kwan in the house. It was a party at Barber Brigade. This is the week again after these expos. So I was a little bit tired, uh, and I didn't worry too much about my regimen. I just wanted to get some work done uh, and get back under uh, the barbell for the squat. So 225 for three sets of five. I also believe I deadlifted about 225 for a couple sets of five. And then I worked up to a single on bench uh, with a couple drop down sets of five. I think Bart's kind of in a hypertrophy phase, so he's smashing on. On some sets of 10 or so on the bench and then he went on to do a bunch of upper body fluff here's 315 for myself uh, matt vincent for those that don't know ex highland games champion also dealing with some injuries he had a beat up knee for about a year with multiple surgeries so uh he also just stuck in lightweight with me on the squat uh, and worked up a little bit on the bench press Mr. Bryce Lewis is getting ready for uh, the Arnold, I believe. Um, he just, I believe, won second time champion in the 231 weight class at uh, USAPL Nationals and now is revving up for the Arnold. So he's over there uh, smashing legitimate weights. Uh, I'm not sure what he worked up to on this day, but that guy, the amount of uh, volume and frequency he can handle is insane. Uh, he really treats lifting as a professional in terms of his sleep, his diet, and how locked he in is. Obviously, with his technique, he's been doing it for a long time. Very, very strong. I believe some of his best lifts are around 700-ish um, squat, 500-ish bench, and seven, uh, excuse me, 800-ish deadlift, uh, at least in the gym. Uh, we also have another special guest coming up here, Miss Kristen Dunsmore, uh, who's an absolute beast in herself. She's an ex-IPF squat champ so she's held an all-time world record in the ipf i believe around 380 pounds in the 63 kilo uh, open women's weight class here's bryce just smashing again i think it was quote unquote one of his lighter days uh getting around 600 pounds dunsmore is showing us one uh step at a time on how to become an ipf champion by clearly focusing on instagram at least 50 percent of the time relaxing for the mind building things up uh, everyone's following their program, getting serious. She might also be uh, getting ready for Arnold's. Don't quote me. 
I'm not sure, but super strong chick, as I mentioned, around 380 uh, pound squat. I believe she benches around 230 pounds and also pulls uh, maybe mid fours, maybe like 440. Um, absolutely insane. Again, another person that truly treats this sport their life uh, like a professional athlete, which is very tough and it's very admirable uh, from my end because the rewards in powerlifting aren't that much. Um, When you look at a pro basketball player in the NBA, you understand that if they're getting paid $70 million, that they're going to eat, sleep, and live to perform their best in sport. But in powerlifting, uh, those rewards are hard to come by because you also have to have a job and career. Ladies and gentlemen, a couple more videos from L.A., I'm back on the grind, getting stronger, getting leaner, squat, bench, dead, full power training. Be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, check out all my friends in the description, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I appreciate you.